Three people are dead after being struck by lightning near the White House. An ER physician doing a fellowship at the White House was among the first on the scene of the accident, which has left the surrounding community in shock. It was an all-out effort to save four people injured in a deadly lightning strike at Lafayette Park right in front of the White House. First, there was rain. And then maybe a second later, I saw the biggest lightning bolt I have ever seen. It nearly illuminated the entire Lafayette Park. And, and Alistair Martin, an ER doctor working as a White House fellow, felt he was in danger. But he joined the Secret Service and the park police running to help the injured. I think there was a, a moment actually where uh, there was still lightning uh, strikes above and around us. And I think that there was a moment where some of some of us looked at each other and thought, man, you know, we're, we're sitting ducks out here too. There were several lightning strikes in and around Lafayette Park, but also the National Mall. But here, there were four victims that had no pulse when Dr. Martin arrived. Absolutely, and it was uh, one of those things where folks were getting tired. Uh, with the amount of CPR that they were doing, so we had to rotate people out. The D.C. police chief announcing the loss of James and Donna Mueller. 75 and 76-year-old and uh, husband and wife from who, were, who was visiting Washington, D.C. from Wisconsin. Uh, unfortunately, they died of their, of their uh, injuries this morning. The White House issuing a statement saying, our hearts are with the ones who lost loved ones, and we are praying for those who are still fighting for their lives. Dr. Martin says it was no accident that he, an emergency room doctor, was there. I think there's something larger at work here and, and I'm just grateful to have been part of it.